So this base heater gets hot. You can see the max readout that we got, 218 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Andalee Ceramic Space Heater. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here, walking us through some of the key features and tech specs for this heater. This is a portable space heater with a nice built-in handle up top, 1500 watts. It has an adjustable thermostat. We have multiple fan settings, as well as automatic overheat protection and a safety built-in tip over switch. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our user guide and manual right here walking us through important safety instructions. And then we have our functions and how to clean and maintain and store the unit as well as troubleshooting. On the back side, we have their customer service and contact information. Next up, you can see the space heater itself. Check it out from the top. Nice grip and carry handle followed by our two control knobs right here. So we have our thermostat, we can adjust the temperature. And then you can see on this side, we have four controls, power off, fan. We have our 750 watt option, our 1500 watt option, that's our high heat. And then we have a more eco-friendly, energy efficient mode. This is 1000 watts. So three different heat settings right there. You can see what it looks like from the front. Here it is from the side with reset instructions. So if the unit shuts down, turn unit to off, unplug and wait 10 minutes, then you can plug it in and turn it on again. Here it is from the other side. You can see it from the back. We have another little lip we could use to grab and move around, but this handle is gonna be key for that. You can see our air intake and fan right there. And then you can see it from the bottom. So we have four feet right here and you can see we have a tip over switch and more product information with their customer service, I may add, right here, a phone number and an email for you as well. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. So first up, you can see we have the unit plugged in, powered on. I cycled it through all four different settings and the fan noise and loudness hasn't changed. So we're gonna take our decibel meter here. We have it on the fan setting and we're gonna see how loud it is. So here's the max readout that we got, 76 decibels. So I would say typically it's gonna be around that 60, 65 decibels as your background noise, but it can peak at 76 decibels like you see right here with our meter. Now you can see we have the space heater configured to the hottest heat settings. We're gonna let it run for a couple of minutes, come back with our thermometer and see how hot it gets. So this space heater gets hot. You can see the max readout that we got, 218 degrees Fahrenheit, measuring the temperature of the air coming out here. That's what we're able to peak at with the highest heat settings enabled. Now we're gonna test out the anti-tipping switch right here. So watch as I go ahead, I tip it back. You can see the unit shuts down. As soon as we put it back upright, it's gonna continue on with the previous setting. We can tip it to the left or the right, same thing. And we can also tip it forward and it's gonna shut off the unit for us until we put it back down upright. So that switch works great. I highly recommend whatever space heater you end up getting that you get one that has that switch built in, especially if you have kids and pets around your house. So let me share with you my final thoughts after using the space heater. First, I wanna point out the Andaly brand seems to have the hottest running heaters around, at least at this price point. Most of the space heaters have very similar controls and designs. They actually look identical for the most part. But with this one, we pick up that bonus feature at the top. So we have 750 watts, 1500 watts, and a 1000 watt more energy efficient setting up there. The handle's great too. If you plan to move around a lot with this heater, you'll enjoy having that nice grip handle. The tip over switch, definitely essential in my opinion, whatever one you end up going with. But overall, I've had a great experience with this heater. It's small, it's compact, and it's super powerful, generating a ton of heat. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord, you can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free 
newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.